This is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSA student community. And here's a problem with three buckets that are pushed down into sand. And we're going to want some geometry to model this. So this is a static structural. And I'm going to pull a static structural out in the ANSYS workbench. And I'm going to start up the geometry editor called Space Glane. And uh, we want three buckets and the bucket diameter is three meters and the distance from the center point is nine meters and the bucket uh, length is is the three meters so here we have a plane first i'll go file options and on the units menu i will select meters instead of millimeters i'll scroll down to the grid and I say one meter grids. Now I can start sketching on that um, XZ plane and I'll sketch a circle and the circle will be six meters. So I'll just type six and there is a six meter circle. If I click the pull tool I can take that face and drag it down three meters by typing three and we now have a solid cylinder. What I want really are two faces and I can get that using the select tool one control key two and use control C to copy and control V to paste or I suppose under the there's a paste and copy up there. I have a surface. I don't need the solid. I delete it. So now I can take this surface and um, copy it. I'm going to uh, look at the top view so that I can uh, move it the way I want it. And that is to uh, use the move tool. And if I pick those two faces, I can uh, pick the direction. And with the control key held down, I get a copy that I can place nine meters back. So I want to do that again, take this, but this time I want to go uh, up at a 60 degree angle so I'll type 60 in there and then click on the direction and then undo uh, with the control key held down click on the direction and type in 9 for the last time I pick where I want to go I rotate it by minus 60 click on the direction I want to go and start dragging without the control key because I do want to actually leave it away. And what we have now are three buckets arranged in the correct pattern. And uh, now we need some soil for those buckets. And that soil is going to be created uh, by sketching. And the sketch plane is the XZ plane and there's a circle and we'll go out uh, say 50 meters uh, for soil to represent um, a distant boundary. Now we can uh, pull that face and it's automatically got multiple pieces. Let's take this face and control click these are the three faces and we'll pull that soil down um, with the no merge. We don't want to lose the surfaces. We'll pull it down three meters. So we'll hit three. And uh, we have solids filling the buckets and solids outside the buckets. And then if we take uh, those faces at the bottom and pull them down, control click, all those faces and now with no merge also picked um, go down further um, which we said was um, nine so I I hope we have uh, what we want so we still have our three buckets those are there uh, we have 
a big piece of material and then we have these um, pieces I think what we'll have to do is slice create a plane so we want a plane on here and we want to move that plane uh, down three meters so hit three and then we want to slice split the body so we'll split and we'll pick actually all the bodies and we'll slice them with this so now we have uh, solids inside the buckets and solids below the buckets and I believe this is going to be exactly what we will mesh and the last step is to take this design and on the options um, I think we have to click select here take this design and one of the properties is called share topology and that means when meshing uh, these things can all have a common mesh so we will have a share topology and let's say that is the geometry that is good for this model for now so I'll stop the video and we'll make another video when we bring this into mechanical which is as simple as exiting out of space claim and double clicking on model to start the mechanical editor which will load in a minute and bring that geometry in with it thanks